What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel, where we show you all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek, and this is going to be another episode of Tech Time Thursday. So today on Tech Time Thursday, I'm back here at the test benches. We're going to do a thermal test on a voice coil, probably in a completely different manner than you've ever seen before. I've got a raw voice coil sitting here. This is a voice coil that we use in our ZV5s and our NSV4s. It is a four layer aluminum flat wound. I don't even know how else to describe it. Pretty simple coil, you can see it. It's a uh, big beefy joker, pretty tall. I think it's uh, 50 millimeters. But yeah, so we've got our SAZ3500 back here on the test bench and I've got it wired straight to this coil. It is a dual 2 ohm coil wired parallel to this amp and we're going to shoot some power through it and see how it likes it. So right now, the coil is sitting about 66.5 degrees, 67 degrees there. I've already got it wired up for us and I've got the term lab magnum back here. Got the clamps hooked up so we can read the power in real time that we're putting into this voice coil and uh, we're going to see what happens. One important thing to keep in mind is it's just a loose coil. It's just sitting here on the bench. It's not moving a subwoofer. Moving the subwoofer, creating airflow across it. It'll help it cool. And uh, we're just gonna see what happens out here in this open air environment. So let's start by turning our volume up. And as we turn it up, we're gonna see our power register over here. So yeah, we're at uh, 300. There we go, for 400 watts. A little over 500 watts. We're putting that voice call right now. So let's see. And oh yeah, we're already heating up. You can see the temperature climbing right there on the screen. So we're, we're chilling, uh, oh yeah, see, it's down here at the bottom, we're about, uh, oh, it's just all over the place. Right there at the top is getting good and hot, about 300 degrees. Let's see if we try and read the former up here. Yeah, we're down to about 400 watts. And then we're up about 370 degrees. Like I said, guys, keep in mind there's no cooling, no airflow at all. It's just sitting here dead, uh, just taking taking power. So all it's doing is just soaking up this power thermally, just heating up and heating up. So let's give it uh, some more power. Let's take it up about 1,000 watts. Ooh, turn that back just a little bit. We're sitting about 900 watts now, and there we go. We're starting to get a little bit of smoke. And uh, I want to see, this will be another interesting thing. You can actually see our volts and our amps and our reactive load there. So yeah, we're starting to get some smoke. We're over 600 degrees now. Ooh, it's smoking good. Like a little chimney. I think this really goes to show how much cooling in a motor design comes into play here. Uh, can you hear it? I think we're... Uh, burning a ring down there in the wood. Look at that, we're sitting about 760 degrees.
Ooh, it is getting smoky back here. Oh, Lord. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's getting rough. What do you think? We might have to cut a fan on. <coughs> There we go. Alright. <coughs> Got a fan on, you'll see the smoke start blowing. You can really see the effect this heat has had on that coil now. It's getting a little hard to breathe back here. This whole place is filling up with smoke. So right now we're only sitting down around 659 watts. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> turn it up some more. There we go. We got it shot up over 1600 watts now. What's going to happen? Yeah, it's getting hot. I can definitely see it burning the wood down there. And I do have a fan blowing here to kind of keep the smoke off of me. Oh yeah, look at that. We are charring the wood, and that's it. So we just lost the voice coil. It finally popped, and we're a little over 800 degrees. So you can see that's that's what it took to lose it. See our power just cut off. Go ahead and flip those amps off for us, Hunter. My lovely assistant Hunter back here helping me with the test. Give us, give us your YouTube channel, Hunter. Hunter Dellinger. Hunter Dellinger. He does videos on like the Civil War and stuff. Uh, Check him out. Not quite, look him out. Look him up on YouTube. So anyway, back to the coil test. Um, yeah, thermal test. Look at that. That's how hot that voice coil got. Hot enough to cook into this wooden bench. Got over 800 degrees before it thermally failed. That's pretty hot, guys. So maybe next time we'll try and uh, incorporate some kind of uh, fan ahead of, into this test ahead of time to recreate the cooling action of a subwoofer, something like that. We'll revisit this test later, but for now, just thought this would be something cool for y'all to see. So uh, let me know what you think. Thermal test on a voice coil, 800 plus degrees before it fails. So guys, make sure and let me know in the comments what you think about this test. What do you want to see me do different next time? Put it in the comments. What anything, anything you want to see me do, any other type of test you want to see me try out. Let me know in the comments. Be happy to oblige. And um, yeah, we got to get out of here. It's real smoky back here now. So remember, guys, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, click that thumbs up button. Give us a like, subscribe, share. Follow us on Facebook, Sundown Audio. Check out sundownaudio.com. You can find me on Instagram, Sundown Audio Unofficial. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see y'all there.